In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the trend in atomic radii as we go across the period. And this is the part, this is part of my series on periodicity. Periodicity. Now, looking at this particular diagram, which I got off um, Wikipedia, a Wikipedia article um, relating to atomic radius. What this basically represents is yellow means that we've got a large atomic radius relative to the other ones. So yellow means relatively large. And red, as you can see, red is for something like hydrogen, which has a really small atomic radius. So red means relatively small. Relatively small atomic radius. Now, if we take a look at this particular periodic table, which I have here, uh, what you can what you can probably see is that yellow is most mostly concentrated in the bottom uh, bottom left corner, whereas red is mostly concentrated in the top right corner. And there's obviously the hydrogen up there, but mo mainly it's concentrated in the top right corner. Now the reasons for this, first of all, looking at this this way along the period, the reason for this is because if you take a look at the um, at the nuclear charge as we go along. So let's take a look at the one the, the nuclear charge of lithium. The nuclear charge of lithium is three plus, or the nuclear charge for beryllium is four plus, and the, the 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 periods indicate the number of shells so they're both in the same period and so there's the same number of shells and so if I was to draw an atom of lithium so li this is the nucleus and then we have two shells so one shell and two shells the inner shell is going to have two electrons And the outer shell is going to have one electron since there's three electrons in total because it's, because it's a three plus charge and the charge balance charges balance. And beryllium, I'm going to try and draw it smaller since it does have a smaller atomic radius as you can see. Beryllium is going to have two shells as well. But the thing about beryllium is beryllium has a greater charge in the, of a uh, uh, greater nuclear charge, as I said here. So we have four electrons and a greater nuclear charge. And so for beryllium, the nucleus is going to have a stronger attractive force on the outermost electrons. And so it's going to have a smaller atomic radius, whereas lithium has a weaker attractive force on the outer electrons. So then because, because of the nuclear charge in lithium being smaller than that in beryllium. And this trend continues all the way along the periodic table or along this along this period in the periodic table because of the fact that um, the, 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 the number of shells does not increase as we go along the period. Now, if we actually take a look now at as we jump down different shells, the reason why the uh, atomic radius increases, and you can see it increases because it goes from red to very um, much, very light yellow, which means relatively large. And the reason for this is because as we go down the period, the number of shells increase. So if I was going to go from hydrogen to lithium, for example, hydrogen, let me draw a nucleus. I won't draw the H in, I'll just draw the nucleus. Hydrogen has its nucleus here and it has one shell. Whereas lithium has its nucleus here and it has not only one shell, but it also has two shells. And because of its extra shell, the nuclear radius is greater. I mean, the, the atomic radius is greater. And this is because of something called shielding. 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 And shielding is a property caused by the repulsion of electrons between different shells. So the shells in this inner electron shell, that the, the electrons in this inner electron shell are going to repel the electrons in this outer electron shell. And this force makes it uh, makes these electrons uh, increase in terms of their distance away from the nucleus. Whereas if you go along, 
this doesn't happen because they're all being added to the same shell so that because of that as you go down the period the number of um the the the, 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 the size of the nuclear um no, the size of the atomic radius increases. And yeah, so that's what I wanted to basically explain in this video. And in my next video, I will be talking about ionization energy. So I'll see you guys in the next video.